bus firsthand. Griff? Good morning, guys. That's right. The caravan, 7,000 strong, is uh, headed this way. They're about 1,140 miles due south of McAllen. This is the closest, nearest port of entry that they could cross. They haven't said where they're going to go. California, Arizona are here, but this would be the shortest route, and that's why so many Hondurans, Guatemalans, and El Salvadorans come here, but unfortunately, most come and come illegally. Yesterday, we laid in the bushes and wait, and we busted one of those smuggling operations. Watch. We've been hiding in the bushes waiting to witness one of these crossings. Let's go. They're coming right now. You can see. You can see they've come in. They've got a family in a raft. Excuse me, sir. Were you trying to cross into America illegally? So what we're witnessing now is clearly a family that was being brought over by that smuggler that was paddling in the raft. This is a... Uh, an attempt to legally cross, and, and they've, they've gone back over there. We've seemed to have fooled this attempt, but officials tell us that he's probably just going to look for another spot. You know, it's a legal crossing? Yes. Yes? But you came anyway? Why? Well, why did you come, is what I'm asking you. Can, you. can you tell me why you came illegally? Uh, the situation of Honduras. You're in Honduras? You're from Honduras? Yes. What are the conditions there? You could not have work in there because um, the criminals always will, will uh, get your money. But they're not all women and children. In the last 48 hours, a man wanted for murder in South Carolina was arrested here, along with another member of the 18th Street violent gang. Guys? Uh, uh, what a story. Your heart goes out to them. And there is a situation where we allow refugees into the country.